What's up, YouTube? This is your big brother, King Jabez, back today with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at TheKingJabez, as well as my website, TheIronSoul.com. Whatever you decide to do, it will be greatly appreciated. Let's do some work. Today is a very important message, one I've been thinking about for a while now. And the humiliation ritual has been your job experience i'm gonna really break this down today and give you some teaching and really give context to your pain give context to your experience for many of you over the last four or five years and i want you to know that nothing you go through is in vain if you are a chosen one none of your pain is in vain if you are a chosen one the obstacles what happens in the spirit realm first and then manifests in the natural is not by chance your humiliation ritual has been your job experience let's make it plain i've been teaching on this now for the last year or so giving different layers to your experience and what is the purpose of this talk the purpose of this talk is to one to look at someone that many people know about he is a bible character job even if you've never read the bible before you've heard of him but also to take that character his life, your own real life experience, and what you can do today to really go forward. So this is a message for many people. If you have ever been well off, this message is for you. If you're struggling to get there, you're not quite there yet. This message is for you. Job was a rare person. He was clearly a chosen one. He was a rare breed. He was a man who was wealthy and righteous. A man who had 10 children. So he had his children who he provided for, who he, he was very respected in the community. Here is a, a man who was honored. You know, it's just, that's reality. If you got bread, people can rock with you. That's just the way it go. If you can present some success in terms of finance and family and have some stability, he was a very well-respected, well-liked man in the community. They knew who he was. And he had all this going for him. And I want you to understand, if you are doing well, and if you hope to do well, you're working towards getting there, you are being watched. Okay, so we talk about elite eyes being on you. That is true. My talks about, you know, high ranking warlocks. That's, that's not just talk just to get views. That's reality. When you are doing the right thing, when you become a threat, right, to the forces of darkness, you're on alert. You're on their radar. And so they're watching you. They are monitoring you. Uh, for the purpose often to find fault, they're looking for a weakness. How can I trip you up? How can I get you from where you are? See, where you're at right now, you're protected. When you have this kind of like hedge around you, like Job did, things are going well. The most high is blessing you, and it's obvious everybody that sees you. The, the objective of the enemy is to break down a hedge. So I want you to understand, when you are doing well, there are dark forces that want to stop you. So that's why the hate starts. Okay, some of you are going through it right now. It's your job. Okay, let's make this plain. You're going through it at work. You have been through this with some of your family members. Some of you, you've had to, um, for lack of a better word, um, stop some relationships you have with your family members. Cut some people off. Why is that? Because they, these people became what I'm going to refer to as a doorkeeper. Doorkeeper is a spiritual warfare term. And what it refers to as an individual that or a spirit rather that keeps the door open for other spirits to come in and bother you. And so some of you right now, one of your problems is that you keep tolerating doorkeepers. What I mean by that, you have people such as family members, close ones who mean well. They often do mean well. See, people who hurt you don't always mean to, okay? They mean well, but what they are doing is that they are serving as a doorkeeper, and they are keeping the door open because they're non-discerning for people who are not right for you. <laughs> so for some of you who hear this message, as you go through this Job experience, a part of that is you begin to wean your relationships. Some of you don't like that. Some of you are afraid of making a hard move, making a hard decision. Making a decision to discontinue some relationships and to make a decision to go forward and to make your purpose going forward, prospering in your, I will say your destiny in this earth, more important to you 
than your temporary comfort. So back to Job, who is the wealthiest man in the East. Little does he know that while he's just living his life, providing for his 10 children, they're having parties. I'm, just, I'm giving the story. They're having parties. They're doing well. You know what, pe what people do. His daughters and sons are doing good in life, meeting each other's home, eating food, kind of just kicking it, laying back. You know, while all this is going on, Job, being a father, he's making sacrifices for his children. This is what a father should do, by the way. So while his children are doing what they're doing, which any father, you do not know what your kids are doing in and around you, by the way. Let's just put that out there. As much as you love your kids and as well as you've trained them or everything else, you don't know what they're not around you. You don't know what they're doing in and around you. And neither will I know. I got three kids. And listen, when they get to a certain age, when they ain't around dad, they don't know what they're doing. So as a wise man, you make sacrifices for your children before the most high. This is what Job was doing. So he's doing all of this right. Taking care of business, wealthiest, I'm, I'm painting a picture for you, wealthiest in the East. He got bread, his kids good, he's straight, the young man in the community like him, he, he, he just, he on, right? And, and while all this is happening, little does he know, there is a conversation, I've said, I've said this before too, by the way, that's why I'm getting excited about this, I've said this before, there is a conversation where, come on, you can answer this for me, in the spirit realm. What have I been saying for the last year straight? Everything starts in the spirit realm, gang. So while you're living your life, there are angels and demons and Satan and the Most High having conversations. That's exactly what happened with Job. So while he's just living his regular life, the sons of God, which is a reference to angels, by the way. It amazes me how often online I hear people talk about demons. I hear everyone talk about Satan and demon, demons, rather. Almost nobody talks about angels. That's just, that's weird to me. I don't understand that, to be honest. I do not understand that. You know, angels, by the way, are just as strong as demons, by the way. In some cases stronger so if you have this idea that angels are weak and they're being dominated by demons that's a wrong mindset so the sons of god which are referring to the angels the watchers right watchers referring to the book of daniel angels are into two categories I'm give them a little teaching i'll break this down briefly the cherubim and seraphims the seraphims are angels that guard or protect and then you have the seraphims which mean burning one and burning is referring to devotion and worship right so if you are angelic you should be guarding or protecting what is important to the most high and you should also be worshiping the most high let me just drop that real quick so if you are a chosen one if you are a chosen man chosen woman you should be guarding or protecting what is important to the most high right and you should also be worshiping and acknowledging the most high daily hence prayer hence meditation hence reflection hence fasting hence spirituality all that's important. I say this all the time, guys. Being aware of your numbers. You know, the Most High speaks many ways. So, I, me personally, he talks to me through dreams. He talks to me through numbers. He talks to me through the Bible. He talks to me through people, through talks online. I read myself, watch myself, through books I read, through my own experiences. I can give you probably 20 ways. So, the Most High has many ways to communicate to you. And when that is happening in the spirit realm, there is um, someone who's referred to as the evil one who is watching this. Listen to me. The ultimate monitoring spirit. Listen to me. Okay. Watching you and desires to mess you up. And this is what happened with Job. While he's living his life and things are going well, the devil sent back watching. How can I mess this man up? This, this guy is on fire. People rocking with him. He got bread. His kids good. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Let me, let me mess this up. So, we know the story. You know, I can't just break it down for you. I can't give you an hour of talk. I don't want to do all that right now. But let's just break it down. He loses everything. His children. He loses his wealth. He loses his health. Things just went south for old brother Job. Everything that you can think possibly happened. Everything you think could happen wrong, it happened. <laughs> okay. He go from being on top of the world to, you know, at the bottom. And just how people are too, by the way. As soon as all that bread was gone, come on now. As soon as he had that clout no more, those same people who was around him clout chasing, come on, watching him, all, all in his face, calling him big bro. As soon as he went through a hard time, they was gone, ghost, right? And not only that, there was a few of them who were around misjudging his experience. And that's what some of y'all do too, by the way. When a chosen one is going through a trial that you understand, rather than just shut your mouth and watch and maybe learn something, you just assume he did something wrong. That, that is the mind of a non-discerning person. Just because a chosen man, listen to me, I know you didn't like that, I know you didn't like that, a chosen man or a chosen woman is going through something, doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them. Sometimes you have to go through something to prove something. Let me talk to you. Huh? Following the most out, not always roses. Sometimes you go through a trial 
to prove a point to the forces of darkness that there are some people in this world that you j just cannot stop let me talk to you today there are some people that you can't move no matter what they go through no matter what trial what ad uh, adversity they're going to continue to be a chosen one huh and they're going to continue to be a an example and a believer more importantly of the most high you understand me that is one of the lessons we learned from the book of job it's not what you go through my boy, sis, it's how you come out of it. So some of you right now, you're going through trials. I Man, you said, big bro, I'm going through it. I'm going through it at work. I'm going through it in my relationships. I'm, you know, it's, it's some of you sometimes say, you know what, big bro? It feels like nothing's going my way. Am I talking to anybody today? Come on now. Come on. Some of you right now, you say, big bro, ain't nothing working the way I want it to. And if you're right there, sometimes that's where you need to be at, gang. I'm telling you, because there's, there's a lesson in there for you that's going to help you when you're at that next level. You see, the purpose of that, you're being purified, you're being purged. You're not going to there for no reason. Because what you're going to have is going to be so big, you're going to have to be strong enough to carry that. You understand me? So this experience I'm talking about, this Job experience, is making you strong enough. Come on, I'm putting, putting some weight on you. To carry the weight you're about to carry. Do you understand me? Some of you, you don't know who you really are. And where are you going to go? And where are you going to be five years from now, ten years from now? And so everything you're going through now is a part of the process to get you to where you need to be. So, so what am I trying to say? Sometimes the most high will allow, we make it plain today. We make it plain, okay? Sometimes the most high will allow the devil and demons to get down on you for a period of time, to bring some pain your way, to mess with some of your material blessings, to mess with some of the things you got going on. And, and it's a test, and some of you, you and some of you right now, you passed this already. Some of you are coming out of this. So some of you I'm talking to right now, I'm talking to different people. Some of you are going through right now, wondering what in the world is going on right now. You're going through it. And some of you have been going through it for years now, and you're almost on the other end of it. Okay? So let me talk to the ones who are on the other end. Your, your break is coming. Let me talk to you. Your blessing is coming. Your break is coming. What you have been praying for, what you have been working for, what you have been studying for, writing those songs. Let me talk to you. Going to the gym, working, building your business, um, building that relationship, saving your money up. You've been making some good decisions. And some of you, you're about to go to the other end of this. And some of you are in the middle of it right now. And I want to encourage you to keep on pressing. It's happening for a reason. I know you don't understand right now. I know you don't quite get what's going on. But what you're going through is for a reason. And if you can just hold on just a little longer, you're going to get to the other side of this test. I know you're going through it. You know, sometimes some of you have messaged me. You give me some emails. Say, big bro, I'm going through it. And sometimes, listen to me, I understand this. The pain seems unbearable. Do you hear me? You don't see any way out. And sometimes, let me just talk to you for a second. Let me let me pull out. I came to work today. Obviously, let's do some work. <laughs> okay, I came to work today. You understand me? Sometimes it's a chosen one. What you're going through, it's not fair. I'm going to just give it to you straight. Sometimes what we experience, it it is bigger than us. That's the only thing I can say. The Most High has a plan. He has a purpose and, and reason. Sometimes I don't understand. Okay? Some of the experiences I've had, to be honest, have not made sense to me. Some of my experiences over the last five, six years have not been fair, you know, but you think about fair, is it fair that I'm still here on the earth or other people are not? If we want, you know, say once we go that route, now we take it to that point. Okay, what's what's fair and what's not? It's fair that I'm here talking to you as opposed to being somewhere, for example, um, behind bars for the rest of my life because of what I did in the streets 20 years ago. You, you, see, you see my logic? So we, we got to be careful once we start asking that question of what's fair, what's not. Because if we really got what we deserve, huh, come on now. It ain't just me. You ain't, you ain't perfect either, honey, my boy. You got stuff in your background too. You, you might not have been in the streets, but you were doing something you shouldn't have did. You understand me? You Don't play with me. Ain't nobody listening to this video perfect. So if we all got what we deserve, we probably wouldn't be here today listening to this, even having this conversation. You understand me? So let's just keep it all the way a thousand. We have been spared many times, if we're honest, by the Most High. And that's why one of the highest um, vibrations, I guess you could say, is gratitude. I've been studying that lately, too. I'm doing a lot of study, as you can imagine. Um, and gratitude is very important. Being grateful for what you have. Not saying that you can't want more. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have more to go to the next level. But gratitude is the spirit you have the energy you have when you have you see when a person has gratitude they are they are a man or woman who has good energy 
if you ever run into someone who has who's practicing gratitude, this is a man or woman who more than likely has good energy, generally speaking. Right? There's someone that is enjoyable to be around. You know, you don't want to be around somebody who's always complaining, has something bad to say about everything, don't like people. Nobody wants to be around that. But when you practice gratitude, you are someone who will be blessed. Let me just put that out there. Doors will open for you. People will want to be around you because of your energy. Once again, energy is everything. So when you have good energy, you become the type of person that people want to be around. So we talk about this simulation ritual. Now, I want to encourage you, if you haven't, to go back and watch all these videos. I've done a series over the last close. I think I started this November of last year. So it's been about a year now. So probably 15, 10, 15 videos, whatever it is. Go watch all of them. Because all these messages give you insight. They're all like steps and clues in the process, right? Of the chosen ones. Here is something that is a clear sign. This one is clear that you have passed the test. When this is your experience, you, sir, ma'am, have passed. And I want to say this to about 10, 15 minutes video. I want to make you earn this one. <laughs> so if you came this far, say, big bro, I'm still with you. We are in Job. I'm going to take you right to the book for this one. Job 42 and verse Five, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye seeth thee. I have a note here. I wrote here is a note I wrote. This was on. I've been doing this for a while now. This is ten twenty one fourteen. <laughs> it's, this is an old note. Big brother started for a while. I need to start this on YouTube. Okay, so this is a note from twenty fourteen. Pain has a way of clearing our spiritual vision. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that? I learned that back in 2014. I need them a rem reminder myself. 10 years later. Here we are. Here we are. It's crazy how life works. 2024. 10 years later. And I'm, I'm saying this now. And I understand this now better than I did back in 2014. That's what's so crazy about the word of God. So I learned that lesson 10 years ago. 2014. Here we are. 2024. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Pain clears your spiritual vision. So now, in other words, you know. You, so, so this is a way of saying. Okay. You have passed the test. Do you hear me? When you see God clearer. If you have a clear vision of who you are, who God is, you passed. If you don't, you have not passed. That right there, Job 42.5, is the key to passing the test. I now have clearer spiritual vision. So the pain cleared my vision up, so I now see what's important. Oh, I'm going to talk to you now. I personally see life differently now. Punk Spice Latte. <laughs> I see life different now than I did 10 years ago. Okay? This is what happens when you go through stuff. Pain, adversity, trials, setback. It clears your thinking. Right? Having children, having a home now, having more responsibilities, I see life differently than I did 10 years ago. Right? 10 years ago, I didn't have any kids. Right? Right? I was just getting started anyway, so I didn't have a kid, I didn't have a home, any of that stuff. And so, yes, a lot of joy obviously comes with having a family, but also a lot of pressure, right? A lot of pain. That's why a lot of men quit. So the pain and the suffering and the, the trials we all experience, we have this common as, as people, as men and women. This, if we are wise, will increase our knowledge of the Most High. In other words, the pain should make you want to read more. Let me talk to you. The pain should make you want to pray more. The pain leads to fasting. The pain leads to SR for the men. The pain leads to meditation. The pain leads to um, tap into your higher self. If you're wise. Now, if you're, you know, and this is not criticism, but, you know, it can go both ways. Because some people, when the pain comes, they go off into the deep end. Right? And they get into an addiction and they start doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. And get into a place where they now have increased depression in their lives based on decisions they're making. But when you have passed this test, like Job, you will also say, I see you now. In other words, I get it. What I did not get 10 years ago in 2014, I get now in 2024. Talk about myself now. What your big bro didn't understand in 2020, 2014? What's that? October 2014? Okay, so what? A couple months be, would be 10 years on the head right? since I wrote that note. What I didn't get then, I get it now. <laughs> okay? 
what life, reality, right? What we have all experienced over the last four or five years. We, we could not plan any of this. But we're here. And if you can say now that you see clear spiritually, you now believe at a high level, the most belief in the most high. I can say with joy, you have passed the test that many have failed. And so that's you. You should really feel good about that. You really should. That should give you um, help you sleep better tonight. I guess I'll say that and go forward. So the humiliation ritual has been your job experience. I hope this video has helped you. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment. Reach out to me. Send me an email. Love to hear from you. This is your big brother, King Jabez. Thanks for listening. God bless. Peace.